Hi, BK. It's Mr. Matt and Miss Alina. And we are here for number one, two, three, 17. 17. Week 17 of BK Online. The past couple of weeks, we have been studying and reading the book of Judges. Mm -hmm. We've learned about some amazing amazing characters in the bible yeah. we've learned about ehud mm -hmm. we've learned about gideon we've learned about samson <laughs> but the biggest takeaway from the book of judges is the cycle of judges and we've talked about it a couple of times and it's the a b c d e cycle mm -hmm. of judges first we have apostasy then we have bondage then we have crying out to god then we have deliverance and then we have ease in the land, mm -hmm. right? So in all the stories, all the, all the Israelites stories that we were learning about, they all follow this cycle. On and on and on and on and on and on and on. But now we are out of Judges. And we're jumping in to a new book. And that book is titled Ruth. And Ruth is a very, very special book in the Bible. And yes, the main character in the book of Ruth is named Ruth. So in this story, we learn about three major people. We learn about Ruth, we learn about Naomi, and we learn about Boaz. And in this specific story that you guys are going to learn about today, after you watch the video, we learn that Boaz is a redeemer for Ruth and Naomi. When their family was in trouble, Boaz came in and helped their family. Oh, that sounds a lot like another story. A lot like another story that we know. Fast forward to the <laughs> New Testament. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Jesus is always the answer. But in this particular case, Jesus came down from heaven to save us from our sins. When we sin, Jesus is there. Mm -hmm. Jesus helps us. And in this story, Ruth and Naomi, they needed help. So Boaz helped them. So just as Boaz was a redeemer for Ruth and Naomi, Jesus is our redeemer in our personal lives. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited for you guys to learn about that. Yeah. And in the last couple of weeks, we haven't really touched on our big picture question. And so we're going to talk about that. So our big picture question for this unit is, what is repentance? Miss Elena, what is repentance? Repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. Saying, nah, uh not today, sin. I'm done. No. Uh-uh, boo-boo. <laughs> Moving towards God, yeah. right? Moving towards his plan for our lives. Mm -hmm. Also, this is the last week. And you know what it's the last week for. I hope you do. It is the last week for our Bible verse. And our Bible verse is, we're all going to say it on the count of three as fast as we can. Ready? One, one, one two, three. three. First John 1, 9. I beat you to it. I beat you to it too. <laughs> First John 1, 9. And it goes like this. And we're also going to do the hand motions for the people who are just joining us for the first time. Yes. And have no idea what we're talking about. Get your fingers ready. Get your hands ready. Woo, get your arms woo, ready. Woo. Ma, ma. All right. Do it. All right. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And that, our friends, is our memory verse. It sure is. Okay? First John 1 9. Learn the memory verse, learn the hand motions, record it, mm -hmm. and send it to us, and then you get two. BK Bucks. Bucks, Buckaroonies, De Niro, Dolores, Moolah. Moolah. I don't really know money. Kaching, 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 kaching. Money, 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 money. <laughs> How do you get it though? Where do you send it? You send it via email to bridgekids 4 sq at gmail .com. Send it. We'll watch it, and we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, they did it. They're uh -huh. so good. We've gotten two submissions on Bible verses on the last, so one last for our last Bible verse and one for First John one nine, and those two have BK books, mm -hmm. Michaela and Christian. You guys are doing awesome. So everyone else, you can do it too. Get on it. You also can get two BK books. All right, 
Miss Alina, please explain to the lovely people what our family activity is for this week. Our family activity is to, first you gotta gather some supplies. Okay. You gotta get either a bucket or a bowl, something large that can hold things, a basket, a laundry hamper? A box? Sure. If you can carry it over your head, get it. You need that. You need something to throw. Something soft, hopefully. Ideally. Marshmallows. A roll of socks. Yeah. A roll of toilet paper. A tennis ball. A shirt crumpled up? Yeah. There you go. Anything else. You're gonna scatter all those things on the floor. One person's gonna hold the bucket over their head, whatever that's catching. Everyone else is gonna gather the things from the floor and try and throw them into the basket, bucket, box, whatever. Like head. curry! Mm-hmm. Practice your three-pointers. Your two-pointers? Your two-pointers, your little one-pointer. That's a free throw. Whatever. Probably just don't do a slam dunk. Yeah. I mean, you could. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, BK, that is all we have for this week. We really don't have any special announcements. Mm -hmm. The only special announcement is that we, we love you, you, and love you, and we miss <laughs> you, and we are continually praying for you. We are hoping that you are having an amazing summer, yes. enjoying the heat, beating the heat, and as always, we'll see you next week on BK Online. Bye! Bye! Naomi lived in Judah with her husband and their two sons. There was a famine in the land, so it was difficult to find enough food to survive. Naomi and her family decided to go to Moab. While they were in Moab, Naomi's husband died. <laughs> Naomi's sons married women from Moab, Orpah and Ruth. They all lived in Moab for 10 years. And then Naomi's sons died. <laughs> Naomi, Orpah, and Ruth were all alone. The famine was over, so Naomi decided to go home. The women were very sad to leave each other. Orpah returned home, but Ruth clung to Naomi. Ruth said, wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So Naomi and Ruth returned to Bethlehem together. Ruth went into the fields to gather fallen grain. She happened to go to the field of Boaz, a good man from the family of Naomi's late husband. Boaz saw Ruth in his field. He had heard how kind Ruth was to Naomi, so Boaz told Ruth to stay in his field where she would be safe. Boaz made sure Ruth had enough food. Ruth returned to Naomi and told her about Boaz. Boaz is one of our family redeemers, Naomi replied. A family redeemer was someone who would help his close relatives if they were in trouble. Thanks. Naomi knew Boaz would take care of Ruth. So she encouraged Ruth to stay in his fields. Naomi wanted to make sure Ruth had a husband to take care of her. So she gave Ruth special instructions. Ruth put on her best clothes and laid down near Boaz's feet. In this way, Ruth showed Boaz that she hoped he would marry her. Boaz was surprised to find Ruth at his feet you are a family redeemer, Ruth said. Boaz promised to redeem Ruth, which meant he would buy back the land that Naomi lost after her husband died, and he would marry Ruth. Ruth and Boaz had a son named Obed. Naomi took care of Obed. When Obed grew up, he was the father of Jesse, who was the father of King David. Boaz cared for Ruth and Naomi because their husbands had died. In a similar way, Jesus is our Redeemer. 
We need help because we sin. Jesus bought our salvation for us by taking our punishment when he died on the cross. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for Questions from Kids. Emily from Washington, D.C. asks, What does it mean to be a part of God's family? Good question, Emily. And you know, today's Bible story really gives us a helpful picture of this because we encounter this woman named Ruth. And Ruth was not among God's people. She was not an Israelite. But she moved into the Promised Land, into Israel, and she was poor. She was trying to collect grain in a field to provide for herself. And the owner of that field, a man named Boaz, noticed her. And Boaz ended up loving her and ended up marrying her. It's a role called a kinsman redeemer. And because of that, Ruth was taken care of from that day forward. Boaz loved her, took care of her as his wife. And we see this beautiful picture of what it means to become part of a new family because Ruth not only was part of Boaz's family, but she became part of the family of Israel. And we see that she played a critical role in Jesus coming to earth. And so that really reminds me of what it's like for us, that God loves us and he adopts us as his children when we trust in Jesus and he provides for us as well. And so we are grateful that God loves us, he adopts us as his children, but like Boaz, we too should have this desire to help take care of other people and show other people the love of God. So how can you show God's love to someone in need this week? 